Today I want to talk about how you can have your products listing on Amazon hijacked. Hello and welcome to the Income Highway. This is the show where we talk all about how to build and grow your online business. My name is Paul James Carey and as you can see today is a brown hoodie day so we're talking about Amazon. Now before I dive into this video any further let's first of all talk about what is a listing hijacking. Now most private label sellers on Amazon are actually unaware that they don't own the listing. Amazon always owned that listing. Now because Amazon owned the listing it's actually perfectly legal for anybody else to also say that they have that product and they want to sell it too. Now for most scenarios it's a private label product so you might be wondering but how can somebody else have that product if it's my product and my branding? More likely than not is a counterfeit product who ends up actually winning the buy box. This is basically a listing hijacking. Now because of this, the other person who's also selling that product, whether it's counterfeit or not, they actually have the ability to change the images, the bullets, the description, the title. They can change your whole listing. Now this can actually extremely hurt your brand and even the product itself. So let's say for example that somebody was to go ahead and order that but they purchased the fake or the counterfeit one. When that person receives it and the quality isn't up to scratch, if they go ahead and leave a one star review you, that's actually on your listing that that review is left there and basically it's always going to be there. It's extremely difficult to get a product review removed on Amazon. Now because of this that can obviously harm sales in the future even if that other person has left the listing and you've got things back to the way you wanted them. Now one thing that you could try to do is to contact that person via Amazon and send them a cease and desist. Now normally this is enough to actually scare somebody off and they will leave your listing alone. Another thing that's going to seriously help you against your listing hijacking is brand registry. Now I did a whole video about brand registry and how you can become brand registered on Amazon for your private label products. So if you want to check out that video and I recommend that you do, I'll leave a card for it somewhere around here. Now another way you can fight off hijackers is to make sure that your product is unique. Don't just get something that isn't private label, for example, that doesn't have your branding because if that person who's selling counterfeits has to brand the products, well then that's obviously going to be an extra step for them. The more steps that you can have involved, the less somebody's going to go ahead and make counterfeits of your product. Another fantastic way is bundling items together. If if somebody sees that something is bundled, they will more than likely move on to the next listing that would be easier for them to copy and to make some sales from. Now, even with brand registry completed, I always like to keep a copy of my bullets, my descriptions, and my titles for all of my products that are on Amazon. Now, you shouldn't have to use those backups, and even in my case, I haven't had to use them, but I always like to have them there just as a backup. So there you go, that's what a hijacking is on Amazon to your listing, and also a couple of ways that you can prevent it. Thanks so much for watching this video, and if you want to learn more about how to build and grow your online business, make sure you click the subscribe button below because there's a new video on this channel every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. There's also a new podcast on iTunes every Tuesday and Thursday. Thanks again for watching this video. I look forward to talking to you in the future. Have a fantastic day.